Alright, we're breaking it with the combs. I don't know what this says, but uh, we cracked it, and that's the important thing. Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to Cypher's Game War for Everything. If you've been on the channel recently, you will see we were playing Aviators War in the Skies. Now, this is made by the same group, the Institute of National Remembrance. It's a, a government office within Poland uh, that just tells the, some Polish history. And I've, I found that game interesting, and then I saw they made this, so I thought we'd check it out. Now, this is a little bit different of setting. The Aviators War in the Skies was World War II Polish Air Force. This is 1920s, uh, the Polish-Bolshevik War. So let's go ahead and hop on into the first level here, uh, called Citadel. Where was I? Ah, right. Let's start from the beginning, shall we? My name is Jan Kowalewski. In July 1919, I was a newly promoted lieutenant assigned to serve in a communications intelligence unit. On most days, I would operate from the Saski Palace but I was to work in the Warsaw radio station in the Citadel that very night. And it was exactly then that we managed to change the face of the war to come. All right, let's see what Jan's going to be up to here in 1919. I was off by a year, I apologize. All right, so it looks like we're in a, a generator room, and of course the power's going out. Here we go again. Power down. Lieutenant Kovalevsky, the city's cut off power again, sir. Seems like a good time to wake our little dragon. I know, I know, I'm on it. Okay, well Never let's... I had the chance to start this engine, though. There should be a torch here somewhere. Alright, well let's wake our little dragon. I think we have to turn this guy on here. Now it says we can find a flashlight, so let's see if we can... We can find that as we stumble around in the dark. Uh, those are some drawers there. Anything in here? Nothing. Oops, there's something here. What's this? Uh, looks like a photo. Mm. We'll go ahead and grab that for now. Interesting. And what do we got here? Uh, oh, directions on how to turn the generator on. So step one, it looks like we turn a, a valve and then we turn a, a lever. Well, let's let's find the torch. Quite simple. We'll grab let's that see again. It works. That one's locked. What do we got over here? We got some... Uh, looks like a file card case. Can't quite get into that yet. Uh, ooh, that thing's flashing over there. This has got to be the torch. There you are. All right, perfect. And we're going to go ahead and click F to turn that on. Now we can actually see whatever this is. Uh, I do not speak Polish, but I'm assuming that's a anti-Russian propaganda thing. Anyways, okay, let's go ahead and turn on the generator because that was our, our main task. Uh, so I think the first thing was to turn this valve. Air valve open. Okay, so we got air going into the generator, and then it was 10 seconds turning down, I think, well, hold on, let's, I think if we click inventory, let's go check out, okay, so we unscrewed that, then we turn that lever down, and we wait 10 seconds, uh, then we turn it up, and then we go unscrew that over, over there, okay, so let's go ahead and back out, so let's turn this down, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, quick. All right, and then the we fuel valve. Open that up. So that's probably gonna. We do have fuel. Halfway through, and now ah, the switchboard. Okay, so we got that going. All right, so let's go ahead and turn on the electricity. So okay, we got to flip this guy. Nice. All right, and I'm assuming we got to keep it in the green here. We'll hit S a little bit. Nice. All right, power is. Try the lock. First voyage behind us. On. Nice. Okay, now let's go ahead and turn the torch off. The radio station. All right, turn on the power to the antennas at the end of the corridor. Switch the switch gear. Okay, so we can do that. We got this. Well, let's explore this desk a little bit more. Book. Some drawers. Uh, nothing in there. Some broken bits and bobs. Nothing in that center drawer. Oops, let's do bottom and top. Some more broken bits and bobs. Some ink. What's that say? I really don't know. Alright, that's fine. Okay. Uh, anything over here? Uh, ooh, we can grab that. 
I don't know what that is, but we'll grab it. It's a fuse. Okay, well, we'll take that fuse. Nice. Um, did all that stuff. All right, well, let's head to the next room here. Got the generator running. We got the power on. Lights are on. All right, can we open the door? It's locked, I would Why would imagine. they lock this? Oh, there's a key right here. Okay, let's grab this key. Corridor key. Very nice. Open that up. Boom. All right, so we got two two hallways here. Let's run down here and see what we can find. Uh, ooh, it's flashing that we, we need something. Oh, the fuse. Okay, so we put the fuse in. Turn that bad boy on. Left one done. All right, so let's go do the right one then. Let's run down this way. Hopefully this one doesn't need a fuse. Ooh, we're doing a little whistle here. Oh, of course it needs a fuse. Okay, so let's go find... There's got to be another missing fuse somewhere. So we grab that key... I don't know what he said. Anyways, we grab that key. Let's go, uh, maybe we can unlock this, because this was locked, right? No, that's locked. Um, okay, so there's gotta be another key. I wonder if the key's in the room. Did I miss a key? Ah, here we go. Okay, let's grab the desk key. Unlock this. Oh, there's fuses galore. Use that. All right, we're just going to grab all the fuses in case we need any of those. Perfect. All right, now let's run back over here and turn this on. All right, add the fuse. Power on. Nice. Okay, so we should have the antennas turned on. Uh, switch on the switch gear power in the correct order. Um, I'm assuming this is what we gotta do. Let's see, can we go through here? Switch the antenna on too, will you, sir? Okay, so that's not it. Ooh, dark down here. Turn our flashlight on. Nothing down there. Turn that back off. That's already on. That thing's humming. Nothing to do there. Oh, another card. We can grab that. Mm. Okay, let's grab that. Interesting. Casemates of the Cannonade in the Western Citadel, or whatever that said. Okay, so this has got to be what we're going to turn on. So let's just click these on. There we go. No. Okay. It's the sequence again. Okay, so it's a puzzle. So we did straight across. So let's do boom, boom, boom. Let's see if that's what turns the power on. No. Okay, fine. We'll do this way. So we're doing three factorial, right? <laughs> to figure out what it is. Okay. Let's try this. No, no. Okay. So then let's this. try just straight back across this way. I swear, if it's the last order I'm going to do, because it would be okay. boom, boom, boom. Of course, it's the last one we do. That's perfectly fine. Anyways, we got the power on. Now we got to do the frequencies, which I'm guessing is going to be. That, yeah, set the frequencies on the main filter. And you can use the apparatus in the reception room. Um, okay, well, let's do, I guess, click on this. All right, so we need to get that to green. And we got three we can do here. I'm assuming, okay, A and D moves us around. W and S turn the thing. Um, so do we just have to turn these all the way up? Okay. That's not doing much. Can we go back down? No, that's not much, doing much either. Ooh, that went quick. Okay, let's turn that down. So let's turn this one down all the way. That last one on the far right seemed to be doing the most. Oh, now it's not doing anything. I think I can hear something, sir. Yeah, we're getting there. Okay, so let's maybe... Up a little bit now. No, that one's barely doing anything. Ooh, okay, so then maybe we... I'm just kind of going blindly here. Nice, got it in the green. Okay, so we got to keep it in the green here. Almost done. Nice, okay, frequency set. And that door magically opened for us here in Cypher's game. All right, so we got a big sir, old map Lieutenant, of Poland. Sir, we have signal from Lviv. All right, we have signal from Lviv, and we got to crack the delicate cold code. All right, so here's Poland. Let's see, Germany over here, German enclave, Lithuania. All right, so let's. Uh, why is there a broken comb? Let's see what he has here's to say. Here's my dispatch. Let's see if the comb idea works as in my concept. The word 
division must be hidden here somewhere. There are three letters I in it, in Russian. Comb teeth broken out. Let's get to it. Okay, so we have to find three, three of the same letters. Um, so let's find a quick run of numbers here. Kind of scanning. Um, I see a bunch of two twos, some three threes. So it doesn't go over five. I don't see anything over five. So zero to five. I don't know if that's helpful or not, but that is what I'm seeing. Um, okay, I see a one two. Oh, I see a two two. Or is that a three three? Maybe somewhere in here. Where? Is there? Oh, maybe there's a ten. There's a ten. That's close. No. What about down here? It's a 10, a 5, and a 15, 3, 5. I must find three identical pairs of digits. I know, I'm looking, my man. Give me a second. Okay, 10, 11, that's close. 10, 10, 43, that's not right. Oh, wait, hold on. Here we go, 10, 10, 10. Perfect. Nice. Now to decipher okay. the rest of the message. I already know which pairs of numbers correspond to these letters throughout the message. We've got it! This telegram was sent from Odessa. Therefore, the name of this city must be in the text somewhere. Maybe now it's worth trying to look for a double letter S. Another comb. Okay, Pradlock. so we need to... We'll have to give up combing for a while. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to give up combing for a while indeed. Okay, so we got to find two... Two numbers, two sequences that run together. Um, so a double S. So we need like a zero two zero two, something like that. Phew. <coughs> okay. Uh, there's a fourteen fifteen. That's not what we want. Um, here we go. 40-40. 40 There it is. Nice. Let's I see if that is it. I must immediately inform the command that breaking the Bolshevik codes is possible. All right. We're breaking it with the combs. I don't know what this says, but uh, we cracked it, and that's the important thing. All right. 45th Division under the command of something. I should send okay. a request for an urgent meeting with Lieutenant Colonel Karol Boldeskula, the head of the Information and Intelligence Department. So it looks like they're attacking Kiev uh, from Odessa. All right, so let's... Um, I think we're going to have to do some Morse code here. Click on this, it well, looks like. Let's play your game, Mr. Morse. <laughs> All right, so P is dot, dot, dash, dot, dash, dash, dot. So boop, 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 boop. The first letter is done. All right, let's send the rest. So, little smiley face there for R, and then O is the long, three long dashes. Excellent. S is three quick dots. Okay, and then Z is that. Thank God they have a uh, little cheat sheet here because I wouldn't know what the heck I'm doing. I think I tried to learn Mohr's code when I was younger. Uh, obviously not the most useful, so, uh, all right. Get that P sent off. Oh, I messed that up. Okay, let's try that again. So, guess I held that one just a touch Next. too long. All right, I is just two dots. And then L is, oh, nope, they're not gonna like that. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I know, okay. So L is just a dot. Or wait, no. Yeah, L is... There we go. There's L. And then let's see. N. And then E is just a dot again. Excellent. I know, some very invigorating gameplay for you guys to watch here. So, as we work our way through this Morse code, give me a comment on down below what you think of the game so far. I mean, again, this is a free game made by the same people that did uh, Aviators, War in the Skies, Telling a little bit of Polish history as we go here. I've enjoyed it. Um, I mean, especially for a free game. You know, if I paid for it, maybe not as much. But, uh, you know, hopefully 
I feel like in Aviators War in the Skies, the first episode was a little Next. bit, or the first part was a little bit slow, and then the other ones picked up. So hopefully we're kind of building up to something. Just, uh, you know, they're working us in, getting this the history set, and then in the next couple episodes, uh, we can see a lot more. Hopefully that's what happens. Okay, one more letter after this one Next. cycles. K is this. Oops, I held that just a touch long. It's not going to like that. All right, let's try K one more time. All right, and Telegram sent. is It's going sent. to be an interesting Very day nice. tomorrow. That was a lot harder than it a should have been. A comb does not seem to be a sophisticated cryptological tool when you think about it. Anyhow, it was this simple method that allowed the Polish intelligence to break the Delegate, a Soviet cryptographic cipher. From then, events unfolded quickly. Within two weeks, a new organizational unit, the second division of foreign ciphers, was brought to life in the cipher section with Lieutenant Jan Kovalevsky as its commander. Outstanding mathematicians were invited to help break the codes. Professors Stanisław Lishniewski, Stefan Mazurkiewicz, and Wacław Szerapinski. Polish intelligence gained a powerful tool and intended to use it. All right, well, this must be the start of the next when they started episode establishing or the next politics. level. So let's go ahead and pause there for There's a, a bunch second. Of them hanging around Thank the you so depot. He's still talking. I must be careful on my way to the generator. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming out and watching this Tooth and Scrubs first. episode here in the Cypher game. Appreciate it. If you've enjoyed the comment, don't forget to subscribe and like the video so you get all this great content on time in an orderly fashion. And we'll see you in the next episode of the Cypher game, which I think it said it was Railroad Depot.